Illinois will soon become the first state in the Midwest to convert to a 100% carbon-free electric grid. The Senate approved Governor Pritzker's climate change agenda today with a bipartisan vote. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. Mark, how will these changes impact electric prices and the environment? Jessica, nuclear power will get a critical lifeline. Coal and natural gas plants will get a deadline to close. And renewable energy will get the green light to install power lines carrying that electricity from solar panels and wind turbines. In short, this massive energy shift in policy will rein in and regulate how much we pollute when we produce power and will raise how much we have to pay for it in the process. Today is the day that the Byron Generating Station was scheduled to go offline. Exelon applauded the bipartisan clean energy bill that passed the Senate Monday afternoon, saying once Governor Pritzker signs the $694 million bailout into law, they'll tell the feds they plan to stay open and will move to immediately fill hundreds of vacant positions. Largest job-related bill this chamber has voted on since I took office. Two Senate Republicans voted for the plan, but their colleagues warned of the cost to consumers and companies alike. The results to our consumers and job creators will be negatively felt for years. The Citizens Utility Board estimates the average Illinois resident will pay an extra $3.51 on their monthly electric bill over the next five years. AARP estimates that rate hike could climb to as high as $15 a month. The greatest energy increase uh, in Illinois history. I was concerned about the rate increase. Springfield Senator Doris Turner was one of three Senate Democrats who did not vote for the plan. It's better to err on the side of caution. Illinois' move away from coal is a sign of the times. The capital city sits on top of abandoned coal mines and just outside the capital. A statue reads, a coal miner's importance is vital, great, and just, and without their work, civilization would soon crumble into the dust. But now, environmentalists point to dust from pollution as a major driver to build wind and solar power instead. I've lived and grown up in an environmental justice community. There was a dust cloud by a developer that was actually trying to tear down a decommissioned power plant. Senator Selena Villanueva blocked utilities from shutting the lights off for people who fell behind during the pandemic. She says the rate hike will carry a cost, but argues it's an investment that will pay off. It's not something that I took lightly. Governor Pritzker in a statement today says he plans to sign this, quote, historic measure into law as soon as possible because our planet and the people of Illinois ought not wait any longer. Jessica, expect this issue to become central in Governor Pritzker's bid for re-election. He says it leads Illinois on matters of climate change, but look at this reaction from Congressman Rodney Davis today tweeting, calling it a shame. Democrats are, quote, catering to far-left Green New Deal environmentalists. Mark Maxwell live in Springfield for us tonight. Mark, thank you. The new clean energy bill will push to put a million electric vehicles on Illinois roads over the next nine years. The measure includes a $4,000 rebate to people who buy an electric vehicle, but you have to buy it in the state, and you also have to keep it here for at least a year. It can be new or used. It cannot be a hybrid. Republicans say people living downstate outside of covered areas would not be able to claim this rebate. If you live in Chicago, you can get a $4,000 rebate. If you don't live in Chicago, you're out of luck. This is just ridiculous on so many levels. Look, everybody agreed on the idea that you've got to keep these nuke plants open for the Chicagoland area, but we've gone so far afield of that, it's just outrageous where we're at today. As you heard there, covered areas include Chicagoland and the suburban counties around it. Senate Democrats say they plan to eventually expand the rebate to apply to everyone in Illinois. That rebate would not become available until next year.